in this tutorial we're gonna use size 10 pipe with an external diameter of 10.75 inches and the internal diameter is 9.56 so inside the draw panel select 3d pull line and start from 0 comma 0 comma 0 origin and bring your pipe upward but before we proceed go down to the status bar and click ortho mode and uh, make sure to work on parallel projection now let's continue so 100 units upward along the z-axis and bring your cursor along the x-axis for 100 units and uh, 50 units downward along the z-axis Fifty units and then along the Y for 50 and maybe along the X axis for 50 and then downward for 50 units and bring it back for another hundred units I'm just gonna turn off the grid We have to explode this one. This is one object, but I'm going to explode this one first. So type X for explode command and select the object. Otherwise, when we apply fillet, it's not going to work. So, since this is a 90 degree radius elbow, I'm going to use the radius of 10.75 for the elbow. So, go to fillet, go down to command prompt. And select radius option and enter 10.75 then select multiple so select this line first second line this line and this line this line and this line this line and this line, and this line. Now I'm gonna draw circles so C for circle command, click anywhere on the screen, type D for diameter option, and the size of the outside diameter is 10.75, so type in 10.75. And for the inside diameter, so repeat circle, look at center, type D for diameter option, and enter 9.56. I'm just going to minimize this one. Now copy these circles. Now go to home. And click this drop down arrow inside the modeling panel and select sweep I'm gonna start uh, drawing the elbows first so sweep command select these circles enter and select this elbow repeat sweep select that circle enter and select this elbow same process this elbow here select that object enter click that elbow right click to repeat sweep select that circles enter and select this one now I'm gonna change the visual style to shade it with edges and then select subtract command inside the solid editing panel and click the object you want to keep first right click to enter and select the object you want to remove which is this thingy inside 
And same process here, subtract command. Click the object you want to keep, right click, and select the object you want to subtract. Right click to repeat subtract command. Click this object, right click, and select this object inside. Repeat subtract, right click, I'm going to hide these um, elbows, it's easier that way, so select one elbow, right click, and select uh, similar, and uh, click anywhere, right click, just anywhere on the screen. And hover over isolate and select hide objects now what I'm gonna do now is um, create the pipes so sweep command again from the ribbon I'm gonna bring this move this one near the pipes it's easier to grab so sweep select these circles enter select one pipe sweep select this circle enter select this pipe right click to repeat sweep select this circle enter and select the pipe same process select object to sweep enter select this one this pipe and I miss one elbow here so sweep again select the objects to sweep and select that um, path I don't need this once now I'm gonna subtract put a hole inside by using subtract command okay subtract command Select this uh, object you want to keep, right click and select the thing inside here. There you go. Alright, repeat the process. Select this object, right click and click this um, there thing inside. Repeat subtract command, click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to subtract. Select this object, right click and select the object inside that you want to subtract. And what else? This one here. And for the elbow, oh, I have to hide this one. Select the object, hover over isolate, and select hide object. Okay, subtract, select the object you want to keep, right click, and select this object inside. I think we did all right. Now to bring back the hidden objects, just right click, hover over isolate, and select an object isolation. Okay, I'm gonna change this to realistic and apply materials. I'm gonna use
this uh, metal framing system. All right, I'm gonna copy, so duplicate, duplicate, and I'm just gonna select um, the pipes. And apply. I'm just gonna adjust the texture here or the color. Maybe change this to something bluish. There you go. And for the elbows. I'm going to change this to red, maybe. Or this color. So select elbows. And click this one. I think we are done and thank you for watching and please make sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon for notification for another tutorial I hope you enjoy this um, simple tutorial I did and see you again thanks for watching bye bye